Hi there, Prairie Plant Girl here. Today I'm going to be putting, planting up some edible pots for on my uh, deck. So I have a couple of tiny Tim tomatoes. Um, I started these from seed, I believe in March. They're getting a little bit uh, weary of being in these pots and they, they're ready to get planted out, past ready to get planted out. Um, and I also have the uh, patio baby eggplant that I also planted, I believe, I believe I planted this in March as well, maybe, yeah, I think March. Um, so I'm going to be planting those out. I have three, I think they're 12-inch pots. So each of them will get their own pot. And then I think I'll put some marigold seeds in with the, uh, the eggplant. And I think I'll put a mix of lettuces in with the tomatoes. All of these plants uh, prefer a nice full sun location and uh, they'll get that up on the deck. They'll get sun from all oh, about sunrise around 5.30 or so in the morning and then they'll get a little tiny bit of a break right through the, the noon hour and then the sun will come back around and they'll be back in the sun until the end of the day. So definitely a full sun location. Um, I'll have to watch it can get a little windy up there and sometimes especially the eggplant because it has the bigger leaves Sometimes it uh, will get a little tattered by the wind, but I'll just watch it and see And, this, and um, I'll put some stakes in with these as well just to give them that little bit of extra protection from the wind but I'm gonna get them potted up in some pots and uh, Get them put out there so I can have some some food right at my fingertips on the on the deck Okay, so I'm gonna start with the eggplant and it just has a few scraggly leaves here so I'm just going to try and pop those off if I can. So there's actually three eggplants of these little patio baby eggplants growing in here. And I think I'm going to try and get just one. I think this one here looks the healthiest. So. These should have been separated out long ago. I didn't realize they were not separated. I'll take that one, it looks nice and healthy. It's a growth on it. I'm using a Chromix, it was called vegetable and garden mix soil. Um, it seems very heavy. I'm not sure, I, it's not one I've used before, but it was at the uh, store I was shopping in, so I picked some up. But not sure, we'll see how it works. It seems very, very heavy, but these plants like moisture, so I think it'll be all right. Stick a stake in here in case it needs to be tied up. This is just a mixed marigold package. It's called Bonita Mixed. You can just sprinkle the marigolds on the soil and cover them with a quarter inch of soil if you want. I always find sticking these little spikes in like this makes it easy to get my spacing. And uh, when the spike's in, then they're buried far enough. So in about a week, I should see some nice marigolds popping up. And hopefully this eggplant has put on a bit of growth now that it has room to, to spread out and get comfortable here. These tomatoes are in pairs too. tomato that I plant. 
hands, I'm going to dig a deep hole. I mostly have leaf lettuce, but I have some radicchio here. So I'm going to put I'm going to put a little bit of radicchio around the back. Then I have some Grand Rapids. some prize head. Put that around the side here. So I'm just going to sprinkle a little bit of soil over those seeds. They say to bury them half an inch. I've also heard other people say that lettuce needs light to grow. We'll bury them the half inch like the package directs. If they stay nice and moist and get some heat, they should come up. Okay, so our last pot is going to be another tiny tin. We'll just use this when we separate it off. And I'm going to take some of the lower leaves. Plant it down deep. And it'll grow roots out all along the stem, anywhere where it's under the soil there. Those fuzzy tomato stems are all just waiting to grow, grow more roots. Okay, so again, I think I'll put some radicchio at the back. some prize head lettuce. Some red salad bowl. And some more early curled Simpson. Again, the lettuce wants to be half an inch deep according to the package, so add a couple of handfuls of soil on top, spread it out, and just pat it down gently so that there's good contact between the, the soil and the seeds. Oh, I for, see if you had to put a stake in this one. So let's get a stake put in this one. So there's some nice uh, tiny tin tomatoes with six kinds of lettuce. It'll be nice to grab to make a quick and easy salad. And some patio, patio baby eggplant up there with some marigold seeds put in there. So that'll be nice and cherry pot when it comes along. And I'm excited to see I've never grown the patio baby before. And this will be a nice small size little eggplant. And I think that'd be fun to, to cook with. So I'm excited to see those grow. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't hit the sub subscribe button yet, hit that subscribe button so that uh, you catch the rest of my videos. And we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.